there, there's another term in the Holy Quran which is called the Ghunna or nasalization. So could you explain what nasal, nasalization is? So it's quite a difficult word to say in English, but ghunna. Yeah. What does ghunna mean? And so, so the ghunna or nasalization of a letter is a sustained nasal sound. So a sustained nasal, I know it's very hard to explain, but it's in essence when you actually try and conceal the sound that you're producing into your nose. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be more clear when we go Definitely. forward, inshallah. So it's when the sound of the letter is produced from the nose and two letters are very important in this rule. The first is the noon and the meme. And it's not just any noon or meme, it's the noon mushaddad, so the noon bearing the shadda, and the meme mushaddad, the meme bearing the shadda. And whenever these two letters appear in the Holy Quran, noon mushaddad and meme mushaddad, an extra long time is given on these letters. So the nasal, sh nasal sound should be prolonged for at least, they say, two seconds. Um, I'd like to give one example no, from the Holy Quran. It's from chapter 4, verse 160. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Wa im min ahlil kitabi illa la yu'minan bihi qabla mawtih So we have both examples in this very verse, you know. So the first one was wa im min, yeah. The meme has a shadda, therefore it is a letter of ghunna. And the next example, following on, was la yu'minan. So that extra time that we gave over here, the noon here has a shadda, therefore it's a letter of ghunna. So always remember when you're reciting these and you come across the noon mushaddad and the meme mushaddad to prolong this with the nasal sound for at least two seconds, they say, two counts. And um, there are many more examples uh, like this from the Holy Quran. So, yeah. I think with this one, it's uh, practice makes perfect. Of course, of course, of everyone, uh, everyone needs practice. And yeah. so it's just, uh, you know, as much as you recite, as much as you practice, and we should take this time in the month of the Holy Quran, uh, in, in the month of Ramadan to recite the Holy Quran as much as we can yeah. and try and improve our recitation. I think with this one is, along with the spiritual practice, is also the physical practice. So it might not sound right at first, but the more you practice, the more you'll get better yeah, at it. Yeah, you know, um, you say this, um, I just remembered something uh, from my childhood um, when I was reciting the Holy Quran. Uh, one of my respected teachers, he actually gave me a tip and he said that if you want to practice this and, um, you know, try and produce this nasal sound, yeah. so you can try and practice by holding your nose, yeah. so you'll feel the vibration in your nose. So once you, like, try and conceal that sound in your nose, um, that nasal sound will be produced. Yeah, I think it's best to do this in isolation at the, at the start <laughs> until, you, until you perfect it. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs>